make sure to check out our indie films as well. Four Amigos Now on Tubi, Pizza Boy Rick Now on Tubi, Always Smile coming 2025, and Rhino King coming 2025. Make sure to also check out Rex Park Curse of the Golden Buddha on Tubi as well. So I'm watching this from the perspective of, even though I'm an indie filmmaker, we're gonna start this and I'm not gonna give it any slack or any leeway or anything like that because this film has the budget, it has the resources, it has the, the expertise of people in the fields to make something that's really um, enjoyable to watch. Now, I'm going to watch this as somebody that's not, well, I've, I've seen all the Star Wars movies and all that good stuff, but I'm going to watch it as if it's just a brand new show, right? I'm not going to put it to Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. I'm going to watch this as a brand new show and let it stand alone by itself and give it, uh, you know, my rating per episode. So this is the first episode we're gonna start. And if you wanna watch it with me, push play in three, two, one, let's go. 100 years before the rise of the empire, it is time of peace, the Jedi Order and the Galactic Republic have prospered for centuries without war, but in the dark corners of the galaxy, a powerful few learn to use the force in secret. One of them, a lone assassin, risks discovery to seek revenge. I like the music score already. I like the set design and the world the way it looks, good character designs on the aliens. I see is good. The choreography is great. The camera angles are good. Sound design is good. So far, it's shot really well. Okay, Trinity. That one hand flip up was cool. I mean, this this fight scene is literally like on some Matrix One, you know, stuff before you know Neo started dodging bullets. The way they're floating, very you know, uh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon like. The fight scenes are solid. I, I don't, I'm not understanding the hate. I can understand it if you're a lifelong Star Wars fan and you just want to continue the story of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader and, and that storyline. But as a standalone story, grant, granted, I'm only five minutes in. I don't see the hate. You know, one of the things we have to do in, in today's world is just give things chances and watch them on their own merit uh, and stop comparing it to things of past because, you know, as an adult, me watching something, I'm not going to ever get the same joy or magic that I got when I watched something for the first time when I was 13 years old. I'm a grown man, so things affect me differently. But me watching this, I'm like, I don't see any problem. It looks good, sounds good, fight scenes are good, they're not cheesy. The lead actress is good, Trinity's good. Damn, don't tell me you took Trinity out already. Oh my god. Don't do that, gang. I do like how the series or the visuals they gave it that film aesthetic. I, I, I'm just a fan growing up in the 90s with that film aesthetic. It just absolutely looks beautiful. Everything about this so far is great. Spoiler alert, but at this point, everybody should know Trinity just got smacked. I'm in here. That was just the intro. All right, we're going to skip the intro, y'all. Skip the intro right now. Bam. We're back on. Timestamp, we are 7 minutes, 32 seconds. Here's the thing. You know, whether you're for the woke agenda or you're not, or whatever, and you dislike the fact that there's a black girl as the lead character, whatever the case may be, right? I, I, I'm, it's hard for me to understand the fact that people will hate something because some YouTuber says, oh, this is trash, right? And give their opinion and then they'll automatically be like, ah, this is trash. Let me tell you guys, as a filmmaker, as an indie filmmaker, We've shot four movies. We're working, we're currently in production on our fifth movie. It takes so much effort, resources, money, and expertise to create any project that looks like this. So I feel like as, as, as fans of cinema and movies, I think nowadays we're just spoiled, right? We see so much great things, but if this would have released in the 80s or early 90s, you know, it would have been like, wow, did you see the Acolyte? That's crazy. But because it's 2024 and we just see so much now, things that are special just don't seem special. This looks great. And thus far, there should be more eyes and less hate on it because the team, Regardless of, of how you feel about their personal beliefs or if you feel like they're pushing woke agenda or whatever it is They did a fantastic job with this with this show now mind you we're only on episode one We're eight minutes nine minutes in and we'll see if my opinion changes But so far I'm like this is great and a lot of these shots so far which you're noticing uh, right now We're at the part where the thing blew up and she's outside it seems like a lot of practical effects, right? Like, like they built a lot of these things, the little green gadget, they seem practical. So that means if it's practical, it, it'll age well. Now, obviously that spaceship is CGI, but I feel like where they went, where they could have gone practical, they went practical. And then where it was practical to go CGI, they went CGI, 
which is perfectly fine. Damn, them ears big, gang. Even that swipe, the swipe they just did, just now it, it was very Star Wars-esque, right before Yor did the thing and then it cut to her. I'm assuming that she wasn't the, the one that killed the Jedi in the beginning. That in the beginning is either later on in the series or it was someone else. Because clearly those are like two completely different places and you know, very different energy in the characters. Set design is great. Team did a stellar job. I mean, you're on a spaceship. There should be cameras that show that you're sleeping. Not a big deal, y'all, not a big deal. I get it, this, you know, it helps move the story forward and sometimes writers just, CGI looks great too. Now we're on Kuruskant, Koruskant, Koruskant. Look at my man from Squid Games. The character designs are great. That robot humanoid character is really cool. The way they did those droids like that, pilot, piloting the ship as seats and then they kind of come out as pilots and then they go back into the seats, that was really cool. Oh, that's fire, that man's head came out like a octopus tentacle. They did a good job on the interior of this ship design as well. Because the one thing about practical sets or practical effects and built sets, they just, they, they stand the test of time. They'll always look good 50 years from now. Go ahead, use the force, gang. Well, her saving the supposedly violent criminal and then him ditching her. That's a, that's a young mistake. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, if I was in this situation and that was the only pod left, I'm gone, gang. Man, this spaceship's durable, huh? All I gotta say about these set designs, I know I'm quiet for long periods of time because I'm actually watching and taking it all in. If those, if these sets, set designs are CGI, they're doing a hell of a job because man, on some scenes you're like, okay, obviously when she walked out just now and you saw the spaceship outside, that's CGI. But like right now she's in the ship, I'm like, this has to be a built set. If it is CGI, that's crazy because it looks real. My man said, look, we're gonna have a shirt off scene. I gotta get it right. Let me go ahead and get cut real quick. Like you can always tell when it goes outside that it's CGI. It looks great though. Probably hallucinating. Okay, so we got it. The, dark, the, the one that killed the Jedi is her sister. That is thoroughly established. Good casting on Osha and May. They look just like sisters or a younger version of herself because they're twins. Good transition from fire woods to inside of the house. See, like this has to be a built set. Uh, that's interesting because Indara could have smacked your ass. I ain't even gonna lie. But the real question is, as we will get through through the series, is why? Why did she kill Indara? Why did she have this hate towards the Jedi? Now I will say this, ain't no damn way ain't nobody running in that, that storm with that light ass jacket. Cause it'd be 60 degrees outside and I need a, uh, a thick ass winter coat to stay warm. Over there look like it's below zero gang. I will say the pacing has slowed down since the crash, but it makes sense. Why does she keep walking back? Like you know Soul, you know there was nowhere to go. That didn't make any sense, but I guess you're you know showcasing the power of Soul. All right, so first episode is done. Here are my thoughts. I'm gonna give that episode uh, uh, eight out of 10. I thought it was great, sound design was good, it looked good, it was directed well. Uh, the story so far, I'm intrigued. So, you know, what, what I say guys to all of you out there, give projects a chance, go in unbiased, go in just willing to give it a chance. Don't go into a project saying, you know, I'm just gonna dislike this already because it didn't do such and such, right? This is, it's not like they took Luke Skywalker and then changed everything. They're taking a complete, a side character, a, a, a different story and they're creating a whole new story, right? I feel like if you're a fan of Star Wars or you're a fan of anything, you gotta remember this. Just because they make something else doesn't ruin the original. The original is still the original and you can still consume the original, right? So me watching this, I thought it was great. I thought they did everything well. I think, I think that it's really just the audience that needs to give it a chance. I'm part of that audience and guess what? It doesn't matter what anyone does. If there's a narrative that's pushed strong enough by YouTubers or the media, there's gonna be people that are for that narrative and there's gonna be people that are against that narrative. But don't be afraid my fellow lovers of film, to just watch something and enjoy it because you enjoy it, right? If you like Star Wars and the Star Wars universe, enjoy this as part of the Star Wars universe, but it's just its own little story. I give it an eight out of 10. I'll see you guys next time on episode two.